Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Hey there, it's Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine. I'm here today with Captain Greg DeVrule and the Black Hawk. We're doing the uh, Channel 3 Kids Camp Charity Tournament. So I want to have Greg tell you a little bit about what this event is all about. We take, the, uh, we take the kids out. A lot of these kids have never been on a boat before. So we've got like 40, 45 children uh, that go to Channel 3 Camp. And uh, we take them out for the afternoon, uh, free of charge, all inclusive. Catch a bunch of porgies, sea bass, a couple of fluke and uh, show people who have uh, never really been on a boat before, show them a little bit about what we have to offer down here. Not only us, the whole fishing industry. Yep, it's, it's been know. a great day. We've had sea bass, scup, blackfish, flu. Yeah, nice yeah. blackfish. I had to throw it back, <laughs> caught it in New York waters. Nice one. Uh, dogfish. The kids loved it. So it's, it's been a great day. We're really happy to be, Fisherman Magazine is happy to be a big part of this event this year. Hopefully do it again next year. So thank you very much for hosting us on the boat today, Greg. It's Thanks for play. coming to me. All right, Pleasure. Thanks a lot. All right, so uh, also, let's see, what else we got going on before we get into the reports. Due up this weekend, um, uh, let's see, kicking off on July 29th, the 2017 Tri-State Shootout presented by J&B Tackle hits Block Island. It's one of the premier offshore fishing tournaments here in the Northeast, and should be a really, really great event as always. There's still time to sign up. Again, it starts on Sunday out on Block Island. All the details on this event can be found at thefisherman.com. All right, moving on to reports. We're going to start, as always, in Connecticut, where bottom, bottom fishing has been pretty good in the sound, as we saw here today. There's been flukes, sea bass, porgies on the feed, uh, plenty of sea robins to fill in the slow stages of the tide. And if you're not a fan of the sea robin, i got to urge you to go check out a feature article that I wrote for the August print issue of the Fisherman Magazine, as well as a companion video in which I demonstrate an extremely simple way to prepare these surprisingly tasty fish. So give it a look, give it a try, I'm sure that you will not be disappointed. Over to Rhode Island, hot news the past week and a half or so is a slug of big bass that have been landed off Block Island. While not everybody's loading up on the big fish, plenty of really large striped bass have been caught. I know about a dozen or so 50s, and I just got word of a massive 69-pound striped bass landed by Matt Weckbacher while fishing off of the island this weekend. Live eels have accounted for the majority of the big fish, as always, but trolling umbrella rigs is accounting for some very good catches as well, due in no small part to the fact that there's so many sand eels off of the island right now. Then up in Massachusetts, pretty much uh, big buzz I got this week is about the huge schools of bunker that are being found off the ocean side of Cape Cod around Nosset Light and Chatham. There's just legal to some legal stripers on them right now, as well as some small tuna. And they, some of the bluefin reported feeding in as shallow as 20 feet of water. Now, if you remember back to last summer, around this time, a similar scenario set up with the bunker in close to the beaches and some impressive striper catches made both from boat and by shore. While everyone and their brother is stopping off at the canal on their way up to the Cape, it might not be a bad idea in the coming days to keep on riding out to the Cape Cod beaches and see if you can find some of those bunker with the bass on them. There you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out into the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.